some, the holidays can be tough. An Edinburgh woman diagnosed with a rare disease is struggling to get by. Here's Channel 5's Thumbi Verma. Alejandra Peña loves giving back. She's rescued a chicken, a dog, and a couple of cats who live with her now like they're her children. She's had a lot more time to be with them lately, but not by choice. Uh, I have chronic pain, flank pain. It feels like somebody's twisting my kidneys. Um, I have tremors, I guess, from how much pain I'm in. I'm nauseous all the time. Last June, Benya was diagnosed with nutcracker syndrome, a rare condition where the left renal vein is so compressed that blood flow is interrupted. For two years, doctors told her the same thing. There's nothing to treat it. You just have to go home and manage the pain. Putting her on many medications that didn't work. Before the pain, Benya was a caseworker with Child Protective Services, earning her master's degree. After exhausting her medical leave, she was let go. Um, at that time, my job told me they, my employer told me they had to let me go because they had they needed someone to take my position. She's done whatever she can to give her 14-year-old daughter a good life, even though right now that means living in a small guest house in the backyard. I've been living off my savings. I had to pull out my retirement. I'm out of it. There's nothing left. So I started renting out my house so I can make ends meet. But Hurricane Hannah destroyed her only source of income. My fence broke. And then the water heater broke and, you know, just things keep breaking and, you know, people don't want to stay in a house if there's no hot water running. Now she's worried that she might lose her home. Dr. Jose Almeida has heard stories like Peña's, treating six patients with nutcracker syndrome in the last 10 years. He says there are a few treatments for more severe cases where it doesn't go away on its own or weight gain can't help, surgery. But he says few doctors understand the condition. Sure, it's pretty challenging, A, to know what it is, B, to be able to diagnose it. Because uh, and if you do have a, a doctor that does finally diagnose it, then you got to find out, okay, well, who's going to take care of this, right? Which he says can lead to some very bad outcomes. Um, we, we have some patients that get blood transfusions once a week, once a month. It will get better. It will get better. It's okay. Banya is going to continue looking for doctors. Banya says although times are tough, she looks forward to joining more support groups for Nutcracker Syndrome. In Edinburgh, Thunvi Verma, Channel 5 News at 6.